Long March 2D blasts off with VRSS-2 Earth observing satellite. A Long March 2D booster lifted off from launch area 4 of Jiquan Satellite Launch Center in Gansu Province, China, carrying Venezuela's second remote sensing satellite known as VRSS-2. The launch took place at 4.13 UTC, 12.13 AM, EDT, on Monday, October 9, 2017. The rocket thundered off the SLS-2 launch pad at the launch area 4, igniting the YF-21C booster of its first stage, which consists of four YF-20C engines. Generating nearly 3,000 kN of thrust, this stage commenced the initial phase of the flight consuming nitrogen tetroxide and unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine. The first stage controlled the mission for nearly three minutes. During this phase of the flight, the rocket started heading south, over mainland China and toward the South China Sea. After the separation of its core stage, the launch vehicle ignited the YF-24C cluster engine of its second stage, which continued the mission for the next seven minutes. The second stage, tasked with deploying the VRSS-2 spacecraft into designated orbit, finished its job about 10 minutes after liftoff. The satellite was then successfully inserted into a sun-synchronous orbit SSO, at an altitude of 385 by 431 miles, 619 by 694 kilometers, inclined 98 degrees. Although the mission was launched for a foreign customer, China kept the details about the liftoff and preparations for the flight under wraps. The mission dates back to 2014 when in October an agreement was signed between Venezuela's Ministry of People's Power for Science, Technology and Intermediate Industries, and the China Great Wall Industry Corporation CGWIC. Under this contract, CGWIC built and launched the VRSS-2 satellite into space. China initially scheduled the mission for September 2017, however, the recent setbacks with Chinese launches forced the country to delay many orbital flights. In result, the launch of VRSS-2 slipped to October 9. The Venezuelan Remote Sensing Satellite 2, VRSS-2, named Sucre after a Venezuelan independence leader Antonio José de Sucre, weighs about one metric ton and is based on the CAST-2000 satellite bus. The VRSS-2 satellite will be employed for collecting imagery of Earth for different Venezuelan government agencies during its operational lifetime of five years. It is Venezuela's second remote sensing satellite. The first satellite in the series, VRSS-1, named Miranda after Venezuelan revolutionary Sebastián Francisco de Miranda, was also built by CGWIC and was based on the CAST-2000 platform.